Hey everybody, Jacob of Scooters Lawn Care, and uh, today I was going to do a little bit of a preview. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it of kind of how we plan out our year, which we've always done some planning, and we are taking it a step farther with so many people uh, beginning to be involved. But I don't know the best way to see this screen. Let me see if I can... There you go, that focused it some. You're not gonna be able to see it great, but basically, I'm getting a PowerPoint together for our guys to look at and go over and kind of have a plan for this season, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of what it contains. Um, so here is a breakdown. This is how I have this little pie chart you see here. You probably can't see any of the numbers, and that is totally irrelevant. Um, but for each year we've been in business, the first year I did the pie chart to see what month, you know, the percentage was derived from the month. And that has allowed us to be able to build monthly goals based on those percentages. Now, does that ever need to be revised and went over? Yes. Have I ever? No. Because it's pretty generic in our area that the same months that produce well are always going to be the same months that produce well. They might move forward or back a little bit, but not not a ton. So this gives us a standardized way to to set our goals and to to get to where we want to get to, you know. And and then it allows us to have a monthly goal, a quarterly goal, and then then you can actually execute and plan on how to do that. So as we continue on. The next sheet is going to be, you know, our current and new positions. It's going to start listing out who we think we need to have. Um, this is, you know, people we already have, and then it's going to get into the open positions that this is going to create. Uh, actually, let's go backspace. So that is, we're going to have a sit down meeting with uh, with a couple guys, and we're going to go over all of our plans for this season and talk about how to make this all work in Illinois. So the next thing is. This is why I love Service Autopilot. I was able to pull this report. This report right here shows what marketing did what throughout last season, what it produced, how well it converted, and really allows us to know, you know, with some with some error here, it really allows us to know you know, where to put our money. Because in the error I say is like every door direct, I keep saying I don't love it, but I know that I think it was more our piece that was causing the issue. I think it was the copy we used, not so much that every door direct doesn't work, you know. But once you find something that works, stick with it and then just keep hammering it, hammering it, hammering it. And we, that's what we're really in the midst of is trying to find exactly what works the best because we want to have a very calculated way. So. The way this is thought out, though, is with with those goals and then the people that we need on our team, now it becomes how to feed the monster, how to feed the team. So that's why we get this breakdown out. Then after this breakdown, we can continue on, and now we can go to our 2018 marketing. This is the list of things we plan to do. As I click on these, these are the services we plan to you know, hit for in months, you know, January, we're going to advertise for lawn applications, July, landscaping and hardscaping. And this is going to be open for review when I have this meeting and we're all going to critique this list and try to better this, um, you know, and it's like I said, we're going to have a, a conference call that's probably going to last a couple hours to go over this. Um, now into an actual marketing calendar for the season. And this is going to create the step-by-step -step guide to how we feel that we're going to drive what we are wanting to achieve. So you have a goal, you set out the the people, you know, the positions that it's gonna take to fill this in my eyes, and then you look at what marketing is it going to take to drive that much work to the business. And um, so you can start kind of just building a step-by-step -step guide. And then I also do, you know, quarterly planning on what I'm gonna do for each quarter to make this happen. But right now we're just getting the big overview together for the whole team to look at. So. I was doing this, I wasn't even gonna make a video, but I thought it was interesting. Uh, let me know if you guys like this and if you got any questions. Have a good one, guys. Bye.